Setting up a pressure washer is easy and doesn't require any tools. This video will show the startup procedure for an electric motor-driven pressure washer. Make sure the pressure washer is on a flat surface and check to make sure the water strainer is in place and free of debris. Connect a garden hose to the washer and the other end to your water supply. Next, connect the male end of the high pressure hose that comes with the unit into the water outlet on the pressure washer. Slide the plug on the bottom of the gun assembly onto the other end of the hose, making sure the collar snaps into place. Select the high pressure nozzle best suited to your cleaning task. To install, pull back the collar on the end of the gun and wand assembly. Attach the nozzle and release the collar, making sure it snaps into place, securing the nozzle. Turn on the water. The pressure washer and hose will fill with water, so it is important to purge the system of excess air before starting the unit. Simply squeeze the trigger on the gun. Now you are ready to start the motor on the pressure washer. Plug it into a properly grounded outlet and make sure the GFCI is set. Turn the switch on the motor to the on position. You are ready to use your pressure washer. When you've completed your tasks, turn off the motor and unplug the washer from the electrical outlet. Remember, pressure has built up in the system, so you must squeeze the trigger gun to release the pressure after the unit has been shut off. Turn off your water supply. Disconnect the high pressure hose from the unit and gun. Disconnect the garden hose. Remove as much water as possible from the hoses. Remove the nozzle from the gun and return it to the holder on the unit.